Well, the man you're about to meet turned a negative into a positive. It's certainly a story of success, how one man went from bankruptcy to business owner. In 2007, like so many Americans, Charles Thayer, a bank loan officer, lost his job due to the recession and housing crisis. But it's what he did after that makes him a Minnesotan to meet. Ten years ago, Charles Thayer was on top of his game. A beautiful wife, an expanding family, a good job at a bank, and a home in St. Michael. Then it all came crashing down. As you know, in 2007, the housing crisis happened. Houses were worth a lot less than they were at one time, and so people couldn't refinance or get a loan. And so I found myself without a career. Rather than dwell on the past, Thayer made the most of his future and started all around property and cleaning preservation. I looked at my wife and I said, what are we going to do? She said, I don't know. And right then and there, a light bulb went off. And I thought to myself, well, if we're going through this right now, then there's a good chance that there's a lot of other people going through the same problem. And I thought, honey, you know how to clean homes because she had cleaned homes before for a house cleaning service. And I know a lot of realtors and bankers and people in the real estate industry. Why don't we rehab homes? And he did just that, picking up any work he could, cleaning out homes one by one until he and his wife couldn't keep up. It took off like a wildfire. I mean, we, I started making my first phone calls, and in the first week we had cleanouts to do. And within four months we were so busy that we really couldn't handle all of the work ourselves. And so we had to pull out of the field and start finding a workforce. At its peak in 2013, Thayer says his company was working on 300 foreclosures a month across the region and had 28 full-time employees. But as the market has rebounded, his company and staffing needs have changed. And now All Around mainly focuses on exterior improvements. But we knew that we were in a boom and bust market. Just like the mortgages were booming in the early 2000s, we knew the foreclosures were booming and they would eventually bust. So we knew that we had to take some of our eggs and put them in other baskets. Thayer says while this isn't the career he anticipated, it's one that gives him great pride. It ended up turning into a passion. It ended up turning into something we love to do. When you can stand back and take a look at the work that you've done to a house that may even be deemed as a teardown or a house that it looks so undesirable nobody would ever want to live there, and you can clean it up and make it feel great again and make it you know, habitable for a new family, that's extremely rewarding. So we took that passion that we developed and turned it into our lifelong career. Now, we wanted to see one of his latest projects uh, that his team was working on in Apple Valley. But unfortunately, due to the bad weather last week, all the roofing work they were doing <laughs> was postponed until now. So we didn't get to see the Not project. a lot of roofing going on no. last, last week. His business was... is also weather dependent. <laughs> exactly. And last week was a little rough. His advice for a lot of people, though, is just to look for the next opportunity and be prepared for plan B. Because he certainly didn't expect to be doing this for a career, but so far it's working. Great.